Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with six-time Major League All-Star Chase Utley. So after 13 seasons with the Phillies, they trade you to the Dodgers. Was there part of you, or maybe still part of you, that felt like you wanted to finish your career in the place where you started? Well, I think any athlete would want to stay in one place their entire career. You don't see it happen uh, mm -hmm. nearly as much anymore. Um, but listen, Philly, Philadelphia gave me a chance to, to establish myself in the big leagues. Uh, gave me a chance to play with some amazing players, played for some great coaches, won a championship, lost a championship. To, and so those, those times I'll never forget, can't take those away from me. Um, but to have an opportunity to come to Southern California where my friends and family are, uh, it, was a good, it was a good choice. So during your first season with the Dodgers, you guys are in the playoffs in the NLDS against the Mets, and you're trying to break up a double play, and you slide right into Ruben Tejada, mm -hmm. breaking his leg. Right. There were fans, there were some players who thought that was intentional. Right. Yeah, your so, reaction to yeah, that? The first thing I thought of when I got to first base was that I'm going to run down and, and break the shortstop's leg. I don't think people really recognize how, how fast the game moves, and especially in, in those situations. I've always played the game extremely hard um, and aggressive, and that was a play that was hard and aggressive, and it was really a, an unfortunate play. I feel terrible that that um, that actually happened to him. Um, again, it was not, not intentional whatsoever. Um, it was a, f a freak accident. And looking back on it, I can I can go through this whole scenario, but. When I realized I was going to hit him harder than I anticipated, I, I kind of let up a bit. So I guess it, maybe it could have been worse. I don't know. Um, all I know is that um, I was trying to break up the double play for us to, to win a game. Mm -hmm. um, we ended up winning the game. I was able to break up the double play. Uh, if I had to do it over again, knowing that his leg was going to break, yeah, of course, I would, I would not. I would have slid, slid a little differently. Mm -hmm. but, you, don't, you, you can't anticipate those types of things in those moments. Well, you just said it. You always played hard, and there's a difference between playing hard and playing dirty. Right. Does it upset you that some people can't make the distinction between the two? Well, the game is slowly changing um, ever since I've come up. It's slowly changing to a, a little bit of a different game, and it's understandable. Um, it's, I think it's important to keep players healthy, and in order to do that, you, some of the rules have to, have to be adjusted, and they're starting to implement some... Different rules. Do I agree with all of them? No, not not all of the them. But, that rule? but I understand that to to keep players on the field and keep them healthy, and these, the rules need to change from back when they established them 100 years ago. So here's an interesting statistic I read: You are one of only eight players that have been hit by a pitch more than 200 times in their career. Why did you get hit by so many pitches? That's a good question. Um, some would say really unlucky. Some would say maybe fortunate. I'm not really sure. I think fortunate. Why would you be well, fortunate for that? Because then you get on base for your teammates and true. You get on base for Ryan Howard, who hit behind me in Philadelphia, who had a chance to hit it in home run on any pitch at any time. So instead of a solo home run, now it's a two-run home run. Oh. So you're looking at it that way. I would say there's a few in there that are definitely on purpose. What do you think was the worst thing you did that justified being hit by a pitch? That's a good question. Uh, listen, I've, I've, like I said before, I've slid hard into second base for 16 years, and guys don't like it. I, I'm a second base myself. I don't like it when guys slide hard into me, but I recognize it's part of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, some people don't like it, and they want to retaliate. I get it. I understand it. I accept it. I'll take my, I'll take my base and see what happens. Hey, but you never rushed the mound. No, never thought it was really necessary to be honest with you. Why? Because there's some guys I've talked to who will say like, okay, I I have to rush the mound because they're disrespecting me, and if I don't stand up for myself, then that's not a good look. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't necessarily agree with with that. I mean, there hasn't been many situations where I was thrown at when I was going to the home plate going, all right, they're going to hit me. I didn't, that's never really happened. Okay. After the fact, I go, oh, maybe that was, maybe that was on purpose. His control is too good uh -huh. to hit me in the, in the shoulder. Um, so, I, so I've never really anticipated it happening other than playing the Mets the, the following year. Um, so I never felt like it was necessary to, to, to charge. 